destination, we are moving to, well, kind of moving to North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We are so excited to show you our new home for the next two months. Coronavirus has kind of canceled all of our international plans, yeah. but this is our consolation prize and it's actually <laughs> really, really nice. So today we're going to show you where we've been staying and where we plan to stay for the next two months. This is a condo house tour. So we chose South Carolina, specifically North Myrtle Beach and Myrtle Beach because the beaches are fantastic. Like at low tide, the sandbar just goes out so far and it's so shallow and really, just really, really nice. Like it is so beautiful. So we're gonna talk about the beach a little bit later. Let's get to the condo. And now we made it to our little condo house apartment. I just like to call it our house because it's actually pretty big. This is the entryway where we put all of our shoes, our umbrella, which I'll show you how to use later. It's actually really cool. And then our chairs. We got them from Leah's parents and they've been really, really nice to have. And then over here, I moved the kitchen table and this is now my desk. This is where I sit. Normally all these windows are open and I have a really nice view of the street, all the street activity. There's so many people running in the morning. Like it's actually kind of ridiculous. Leah is one of them. And then Leah sits over here, right next to me on the couch is where she's going to edit this video that you're watching now. And we just put a blanket down because it makes it a little bit softer. So you can just be comfy. So in the official beach corner we have towels, boogie board, binoculars, hats, kites, towels, umbrella, Beach chairs, broom for all the sand, wet bag, bucket, sunscreen, shoes, and that's pretty much it. It is an all-in-one beach galore corner. And now, let's go in the house. You're actually standing in the patio that was converted to an inside space to give us more room. This used to be the main door, but it's not. I love this wreath full of flip-flops. And this is the living room. There's a TV. This couch didn't used to be pink, but because we like to be soft, again, we put a blanket over it. This is a recliner, and this is the table we eat dinner at. So onto the kitchen. This is a perfect little space for this tiny little condo for two people. That's the washer and dryer unit, which is really, really nice. It has pantry, it has storage space, it has the makeshift pantry that Zach and I have been using because Zach stole the dining room table for his workspace. It even has our secret stash of Powerades, and yes, I did put them in this cooler because I wanted it to look clean in here, but we have like a bajillion Powerade Zeros. They're kind of our new obsession. Anyways, that's that. But yeah, it's a perfect little kitchen. It's fully stocked. We've been cooking a lot. We're kind of like on a diet of sorts where it's just like roasted vegetables and lean meats and lots of eggs and it's really really boring but this overall has been the perfect kitchen workspace and it's been really really nice. So then right through the kitchen for some reason is the bathroom and I'll let Zach talk about that. Welcome to the bathroom, circa 1940s slash 50s. I feel like all East Coast bathrooms have the same tile. Like Leah's parents have the same tile. I've been in so many East Coast homes that are very, very old and they have the same tile, the <laughs> same place to put your soap, and the same place to put your toothbrush. I love every morning when I wake up, I get to look at these two tiles and they remind me of when we went to Australia not too long ago. The Great Beard Reef was just amazing. And then we have the bedroom, and it's just a queen-size bed. Things to note, the amazing piece of art above our heads, and the huge TV that we managed to set up with an HDMI cord to my computer so we could watch Netflix and HBO. And we've been diving into One Tree Hill. <gasps> Carolinas, what? It's been fun. And so from exiting the bedroom, you get back into the living room, so it's kind of like a circle. And yeah, that's it. It's super cute, super quaint, we love it. And now we're gonna go to the beach. of this entire trip. We found an umbrella that screws in the ground. But it takes a while. So welcome to our new life. We're beach goers now. We spend at least an hour on the beach every day. 
So yeah, that's what we do. We watch the people, we go in the water, we're getting a tan. I don't think we're ever gonna get tired of this. So I missed a trip with my family twice in a row for the first time ever, first because I was traveling. Now it's been coronavirus, so we didn't go. And it's really nice for me to just escape with Leah to North Myrtle Beach. I normally go to Destin, which is super packed, and I love it because it's a completely different vibe than this. It's a lot more laid back. People just come here for their weekend homes. It's not a lot of travelers. And Myrtle Beach is a different story, but North Myrtle Beach feels like a neighborhood. got back from the beach and we're about to have dinner all day I've had this beautiful pot of carnitas simmering on the stove top my sister taught me how to make carnitas a few years ago and then it's just like the best tacos ever so I'm really excited we're gonna have tacos for dinner <laughs> We have this little table that was supposed to be an end table, but the table we're supposed to eat on is in there because it's my desk, so we don't actually use it. And Leah makes dinner, lunch, and breakfast every single day. And I'm like the chef. It's been really good. We really focus on Tex-Mex because I'm from Texas and she lived there for two years, mm -hmm. and that's like our favorite thing. And I make carnitas. Thank you, Brenna, for this recipe. It's <laughs> so good. I know we were like, we're on this diet. Mm. And here we are having tacos. <laughs> and then I think the sunset's gonna be really, really nice. We're probably gonna get to the sunset, which take you guys to the marsh. Yeah, the it sets over the marsh. Yeah. It's really, really pretty. So we're gonna go there, and then maybe like back to the beach. <laughs> Jalapenos are on another level, though. I can handle spicy, but I think Leah was trying to maybe she's mad at me for something. I don't really know. But there's a lot of seeds in these jalapenos. <laughs> Other than that, it's really good. So something we should disclose, and you may have already noticed, is that we bought a drone. Ah, we finally made it, you guys, we bought a drone. Oh so my gosh. We, I thought I was gonna be more excited about this purchase than she was, but she is I don't know clearly some, more excited. I don't yeah, know why this I'm makes really, it official really all of a sudden, but now it just, we're official. It just adds so much more interest to the videos. I've been editing the videos recently, so it's just, it's so much fun. So we're coming back to the marsh. Like there's ocean on one side of our condo and mm -hmm. then three blocks the other way is this beautiful marshland. And we're gonna try and get some shots of the marsh. And Zach's gonna pilot it. And this is our daily ritual we would do anyways when the sun goes down. Right. You spin you down the beach and then when the sun goes down you come to the marsh and you see the reflection in the water mm -hmm. and just like be in your local community. But this time we have a drone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have never seen anything like this in my life. You see those like little stuff moving? They're little crabs. I thought they were bugs. Zach convinced they're crabs. It makes a lot more sense. <sighs> oh gosh, this is the third flight I think. And I'm kind of nervous because we're flying into the marsh and there could definitely be some alligators. So if it goes in there, Leah said, since she's the Eastern Shore person, she's going to tough it out and go find it. Fingers crossed I don't crash this thing. You won't crash it. I like your socks. So we're going to try and film the crabs. I spent way too much time on them because I could actually see them up close. And we kind of missed the sunset. So sorry guys, but it's still kind of cool that we got a drone. Oh, Thanks for watching. 
I stole his thanks for watching. That's usually what he says. I'm sorry.